Hi guys, so I'm here today to share with you some tech training on how to use Social Oomph. It's a platform that I've used for a while now to schedule social media and I use it for um, Twitter only and I have the Twitter Unlimited package which works out at about $3 a week. But as you'll see when I go through this information, it saves you a lot of time so it will save you hours it used to take me about two hours a week to schedule all my tweets and it takes me about less than 10 minutes now I'd say probably so first things first go to socialumph.com and then you'll need to um, set up your account and obviously I already have one so you just go into sign up now and then you'll be left with um, a screen that looks like this but your name will be up there so the next thing to do is it's just to really show you how it works so you can go into your networks and manage a connect social account and obviously I've already got that so um, I don't need to reauthorize it because mine's already there but it depends on the platform that you have and the package that you have rather you can have Twitter Facebook Pinterest LinkedIn RSS feed blog and I don't even know what plurk is I've never heard of it but you can access all these different things if you pay for professional. Um, as I said, I pay for Twitter Unlimited, which gives me all the things I need to do. Um, I, I schedule Facebook directly in Facebook, so I don't need that. And Pinterest, I've got different schedulers for that. So I schedule my LinkedIn posts through uh, a Zap, through Zapier, So, which is like if this, then that. So going back to social and from Twitter, you just have to authorize it just like you authorize any app and then you can get to work as you can see i've got um live love blog on there brit moms and uh you baby me mommy and i think on twitter unlimited you can have five accounts on there for no extra cost which is really good so first thing the first thing that i use it for most of the time is just obviously scheduling a post so i click into posting and i'd go to uh, manage uh, create a new update so as that just goes through there, you'll see you can create, I'd never use the blog post one and I never really use the new text update. I always use image and text because I think it's statistics in the region of 80% more likely to be retweeted and um, get exposure if they have an image. So I very rarely tweet out anything without an image on it. So what I do is put the tweet in here so you choose your image, so as we just chose that image, because that's just there, we type in our text. We can then use bit.ly to shorten it, um, which just does automatically, because I've already set up the uh, bit.ly shortening in here. So if you hadn't set that up, you just click on that and pick bit.ly option, and maybe add a hashtag in or two. They say two is the optimum for tweets. And then I decide how I'm going to publish this so I might want to to add it to a reservoir which I'll talk about later might want to publish it straight away but you're probably not going to be in a schedule or if you're going to publish it straight away you might as well just tweet it out um, I might publish it in a certain number of units from now so I might think oh I need to publish something next Wednesday when I'm on the way to an event and if that's the case and this is the one you want to use here and you want to tick that you can do it through this 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 if you want but you can just tick that and it, you can pick in a certain number of minutes days hours whatever the one that I have it on is here so I want my first one to go out a certain time and then I want to publish this same tweet here every eight hours for example but you can go from one hour to once every year so you pick whatever frequency you want and then in here you can put the number of insertions you want that tweet to have so if you want it to go out twice if you want it to go out all of my initial posts go out 20 times every eight hours once every eight hours 20 times rather and then i do something else with them so after that i would then save that tweet so is it the so i'm going to save that as there because that's um third of march so that I'll, that'll be the only one there so I can find that easily and get rid of it. So I'm going to save it for you guys so you can see what happens. I'm going to save this random tweet. And then what I do straight away is if that tweet was evergreen, I go back into manage existing updates and I'll find that tweet and you can see it's there. You can see all the other tweets I've got scheduled. 
we'll go into looking at those in a moment and then I copy that tweet so what I'll do is I'll copy it and it'll bring up the same tweet and the same image and then okay I think well 20 times once every eight hours 20 times would probably take about four days to get through those 20 and as this tweet is evergreen I want that to be on my Twitter account forever until I decide not to have it so what I do is I add four days onto that so I go the 7th of March and I might start at the same time then I change this to every 30 hours and I change that to zero and what that means and I save it is that that tweet will go out if you go and look at it it'll go out once every eight hours 20 times starting on the th at three o'clock on the third and then that'll run the 20 times and there's um, and then it'll go into here so when that run runs out this one will take over and I've set that up in a couple of seconds and that'll run forever until I say I don't want it to run so I hope that shows you how easy it is to get tweets onto the system like it literally takes a couple of seconds so I'm just going to mark these for deletion go to the bottom and get rid of them because obviously those tweets made no sense so I've shown you now how to create an update you can obviously do without an image if you prefer but I've shown you how to create it how to schedule it to go immediately if you wanted to but you, you know rarely would I want to do that um, you can see you could schedule it however many hours, minutes, days, whatever. But again, I don't really want to do that. Um, I want to do this one. So I want to pick publish at a specific time and date and then for a specific number of reoccurrences that it goes on. And I always pick eight to start with. You can see that there I could tweet it to any of the accounts I've got set up. So that's the beauty of it really is so quick and then you can do a few other things so that's initially the how you set tweets up but if we go into you can manage your updates so I can pick any of the accounts I've got set up so I'll just pick my account I can schedule ones with errors so occasionally um, they bounce and they'll only bounce if you don't have enough tweets in your um, system so it's not social oomph that bounces your tweets and doesn't show them, it's Twitter that rejects them. So most of the time when you're using a scheduler, you have to be um, changing the text a little bit of your update so that Twitter doesn't think that it's a duplicate. But with social oomph, you don't have to do that as long as you have enough in between. So you see that I've got loads of tweets. So if we look at the 13 things a blogger should do on Twitter, there'll be, if you go back to see the you know if we scroll down to see the last time that tweet went out we probably can't even see it um, because there's lots of tweets in between now you don't need as many as I've got but there will be, there will be a lot of tweets that go in between any of my tweets so it doesn't show up as a duplicate for Twitter so that's the secret is if you have one one tweet going every 10 hours but you've only got no tweets in between or maybe one or two in between it will show as a duplicate to Twitter. So they'll think you're not publishing that much stuff and it's pretty much the same stuff, so I'm gonna bounce those tweets. So the idea is to build up a really good bank of tweets that are going out on your account. And remember, Twitter is a low value, high quantity network. So you need to be tweeting out a lot. And as you can see from this account, these are going out very frequently. So when you've set up your tweets, you might think, I can't remember when you're in this screen and you've set up your first tweet you might think I can't remember when what times I've picked so I might have them all lumped together and it's really easy to sh spread them out so all you have to do is go into um, the posting and then go into evenly distribute updates click on that and if you say I want to go um, all of these days, if they're all highlighted, and you can say, I want a tweet to go every um, 30 minutes if you've not got a lot. If you did that and then clicked, I have to pick my Twitter account. Um, if you click that and then picked distribute, it would automatically move all of your tweets onto once every half hour. So what you can do is when you've built it up and you've been going on the system for 
a couple of weeks or so you might choose then to actually you know I noticed that two tweets went out really close but then I didn't have anything for two hours because I didn't rem you know I didn't know when I would, I'd started them all which is fine you don't have to write these things down just keep going for a couple of weeks and then decide that oh, actually I've got enough tweets now that one can go every 10 minutes on my account one goes every five minutes so and you can just distribute I'm not going to click on that because I've done mine um, recently so that's another thing you can do um, I've got following because I've got a different I've got follow back and auto welcome I don't follow back but I do have um, a direct message thing set up on my Twitter now um, probably not going to go into why now but it's not a corny you know follow me on Facebook kind of thing it's offering value to the people that follow me and I've actually got lots of people into my um, mom boss squad uh, Facebook group because of that direct message so this is what I pay an extra couple of dollars a week for to have this um, sort of edited editable direct message going out to people with links in it and stuff so but they're links that benefit the people they're not necessarily links that benefit me straight away so if you went to go into so you might have a tweet this is another thing you can do really um, I've only actually got it set up for one but it's a really really good thing that you can do on social Oomph. Q reservoirs now what this does is if you've got a tweet like I've got this blogging as therapy and it goes out forever and it always goes out all the time and it gets lots of um it's probably not the best post in the world but it goes out all the time gets lots of uh, traffic and lots of uh, interaction so I decided I wanted to vary the text that went out with that tweet to make it just to see what words sort of work well and, and that kind of thing so what you can do is you can go in and you can decide that you're going to set up a reservoir and this means that you, yes you could set up different tweets and have them going at different times but that might get confusing and what you kind of want to do is have a blogging as therapy reservoir which you can then drop however many updates you want into that that vary the text so I'll show you this in what I've done see so manage update as you can see that on that tweet in this reservoir which sounds odd but I have three different versions of that tweet I used to have three different pictures I think and instead of having to schedule each one of these separately and make sure that they don't go out at the same time I just put pop them in the reservoir and then when social lymph knows that blogging as therapy has to go out based on my you know based in here it picks the next one to go so it'll pick that one and then the next time it knows that that's got to go out it'll pick that one and then it'll pick that one and they'll cycle round which is really really clever because it, get, it it's less work for you and it means that those tweets are getting a, you know are being varied without you having to do anything so what you have to do first is you have to set up um, a reservoir so you can do that by creating a new queue so you basically create a reservoir so you can call it what I mean I, I've got another one uh, blogging as a full-time job and I really probably should set one up for that I should set them up for all of them really because it's you know it's a really good thing I would then pop decide how often do I want that to go once a day or you know once an hour or whatever I want it to you know how, how often do I want it to go I want it to go twice a day or something let's publish updates at random intervals maybe it's up to you um, select your account when it's gone then you can recycle it which I do so they just keep on rotating round um, and then decide for how you know pick the ones you want it to be so if you want it to be all of them just you know select all of them so yeah I want this to go out every day I want it to go out all of the time but it will only go out twice a day so I don't want it to go out at certain times um, you can change if it's seasonal, um, which is just amazing. You can say when you want it to start, if you want to stop it, you just save it. So then I want to manage existing queue. So you can see there that when I click into that, that's here. Now there's no tweets in there yet. I have to put them in. And as you can see, there's nothing in there. So create a new update. So you can click, see here, you can type in your, so you select your picture, whatever it is type in your text blah 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 and then you don't schedule but you add it to a reservoir and then you can pick which one you want to add it to save it and then when you go back into your um, reservoirs Q reservoirs 
you'll see there's one there. So you'll need to add a few more and you can vary the text and you can vary the picture, but you can see how they can be built up. And then you can see how they'll just cycle round. So you will never have to put them in again if you don't want to, but they'll just cycle round to give these long standing tweets that lead to really good evergreen blog posts a, a really good variety. So what if we wanted to add another one, we just create new update and we'd go to the image. We'd then have to just say we don't want to schedule it. So we'd pick a different image for that picture. We'd vary the words slightly. So maybe go at a different angle at the same post. And again, we'd just add it to them. We'd save it to that queue. So then when that tweet goes out, it'll just vary every single time that tweet goes out. So I'm just going to go and delete that reservoir because obviously that's a bit random. So that's reservoirs and that's something that I didn't find out straight away in Social Umph, but it's really just really good to do. Um, as you can see I've got that one in there with those three versions and I need to add a few more. So we've gone through how to set up your new tweet, how to see that's got that shows that queue but we, do, we just take it away and then we can do whatever we want with it really. We can say we want it to go this time blah 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 pick our account and then you can see all the tweets we have here and how many times it's gone out and we know that by just hovering over we can see that that once every third day and that's published so that one's gone into my longer cycle now of going every 30 hours or 36 hours so that's obviously done its 20 stints and is now um is now on the longer cycle that goes forever so that's how you use the majority of social umph. And there's all these other things that you can do, but really you can purge your DMs. So if you get lots of um, messages and you want to get rid of them, you can just click on that button and it just deletes. It never deletes the messages you send to other people, but can delete the ones you've sent and uh, people have sent to you over a certain time. Or you might say, I only want the last month in there because it's too much to look at or whatever. Um, you can get some analytics as well so you can find out um, in the monitoring tab you can set it up to so for example there's hashtags or things that you want to search so you might think okay I want to find out every time anyone mentions blogging and you want to email me the digest once a day so every time that anyone mentions blogging which might be too um, general really um, you can be notified about that so if you're writing a post on something or you're really interested in a specific thing at that time you can maybe type in something or maybe every time anyone mentions you know whatever you can put it in there and then it will tweet you when that is mentioned on Twitter so you can also go into the mentions and retweets and you can pick an account again and this is a really good way sometimes sometimes Twitter can be overwhelming you know you go into your um, Twitter and there's loads going on and you know there's messages and then things are flashing up and so actually sometimes just going into your social umph and looking at your mentions and retweets you can see really clearly what you have to respond back to or you know whatever so then I can just decide that I'm gonna you know do any of those actions for that comment and when I click that it will launch Twitter and it'll launch directly onto that one thing I've already done that so you know that's fine but say if I wanted to um, I think I've probably already favorited all of these um, all done but it's a really good way then of just so I can look at my stats and I can just search the the links and the clicks and the click summary destination domain so where they're going so it's stuff that you don't really need to know but it's there and it's just really handy to have really just to mention and managing them easy really if you want to edit it you can go in edit it you know easy peasy if you want to copy that's what I use when I'm making it go from eight hours to a longer term I can literally just replace the image so if I come up with a better image I can just replace it I can delete it directly or I can if I think there might be a few that I need to delete I can just click that and then you know to, then you've got the option to delete right at the bottom there and you can just look through and think actually you know you can see mine are spaced out nicely but if they chunk up a bit and start to get a bit close together you can just go into that 
evenly distribute updates and you can see that you can you know spread them out however you wish you can do lots of bulk delete updates you know if you want to get rid of everything that mentions a certain thing you can do that really easily and it's just basically this is why I pay the um, well what was six dollars eighty something every fortnight because as you can see it takes you a couple of seconds to put your you know to literally pop your tweets in every time you post a you know publish a post and um, it saves you hours so that's been a quick overview of how to use social Umph. if you've got any questions let me know and I'll um, add to this with you know some more information you can search there easily to find a certain tweet that you want if you want to find a tweet without having to scroll down you can think oh it was about blog traffic or something you can type in traffic apply the filter and you can find the two blog posts I have tweeted out that mention traffic so that's another thing that you can do really easily most of it you can find just by poking around um, and I think the biggest issue that people have is that it rejects and they think it's social oomph rejecting and it's not it's Twitter rejecting but that is the power of social oomph and I hope you've enjoyed the video and I hope it makes a lot, it a lot clearer for you to to have a go at it i have a link in the description of this video and it is an affiliate link i do get a tiny bit of commission if you go through and join and hook up with social umph but i wouldn't be recommending it to you if i did think it was the best scheduler and if you don't want to use my link that is totally cool please still go and join social umph because it will save you lots and lots of time and i hope this has been helpful